we will discuss a recent historic occurrence between China and the United Arab Emirates, or UAE, in today's report. With the help of their respective central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs, they have successfully conducted the first cross-border transaction, totaling more than $13 million. This represents a significant turning point in the global acceptance of CBDCs and a blow to the US dollar's hegemony in transnational trade. Let's explore more about this historic agreement and its implications for the financial industry going forward. First, what are CBDCs and why are they important? The rise of central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs, is one of the biggest developments in the finance industry. These are digital depictions of the national currencies that are issued and managed by the central banks of several nations, including the US dollar, the euro and the yen. CBDCs are built on centralized private networks that are only accessible by approved participants and regulators, in contrast to cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum, which are based on decentralized public networks that anybody can join and verify. CBDCs are designed to provide the benefits of digital payments, like speedier transactions, reduced risks, and increased convenience, while maintaining the reliability and stability of the conventional monetary system. Also, CBDCs can lower the costs and inefficiencies associated with cross-border payments and remittances, increase the efficacy and transparency of monetary policy and fiscal stimulus, and improve the accessibility and affordability of financial services for the unbanked and underbanked populations. According to a recent report by the Bank for International Settlements, or BIS, CBDCs have been expanding quickly worldwide. More than 80% of central banks worldwide are investigating, testing or creating CBDCs, with China and the United Arab Emirates setting the standard. Since 2020, China has been testing its digital yuan, or ECNY, widely. Through a number of pilot programs including digital red envelopes, lottery prizes and online retail platforms, the country has given out over $300 million worth of ECNY to its citizens. In order to make the digital dirham, or EAED, easier to use, the UAE teamed with a number of banks and fintech firms in 2021, including Etisalat, Ripple and Emirates NBD. Now, let's talk about the historic transaction that took place between China and the UAE. Using the Embridge infrastructure, the two nations exchanged 50 million dirhams and an equivalent amount in renminbi, or RMB, on January 15, 2024, totaling a substantial $13.6 million. The central banks of China, Thailand, the United Arab Emirates and Hong Kong are connected by the blockchain-based Embridge network, which facilitates cross-border payments utilizing CBDCs. Since its initial pilot program in 2019, the Embridge has developed into a reliable and scalable network that accommodates numerous currencies and legal jurisdictions. The M-Bridge seeks to promote greater financial inclusion and collaboration among the participating nations while facilitating cross-border transactions that are quicker, less expensive and more transparent. The first ever M-Bridge transaction occurred between China and the United Arab Emirates and it was a major turning point in the creation and acceptance of CBDCs in the international financial system. Both parties praised the deal as a success since it proved that using CBDCs for cross-border trade is both practical and effective. There was no need for middlemen or third-party settlement agents. The transaction was finished in a couple of seconds. Moreover, the transaction improved the money transparency and traceability while lowering the risks of fraud, sanctions and currency volatility. The transaction was made possible via the Embridge platform and the tight cooperation and coordination between the central banks of the UAE and China. The deal demonstrated how CBDCs may help both countries' economies grow and prosper by facilitating cross-border commerce and investment. The transaction also demonstrated the strategic alliance and solid bilateral ties that China and the UAE have been developing in a number of areas, including energy, infrastructure, technology, and culture. The transaction represented the growing acceptance of CBDCs as a competitive payment option, making it a historic moment for the world financial system. 
More innovation and experimentation in the field of CBDCs, as well as more cooperation and integration between Embridge members and other interested parties, were made possible by the transaction. Likewise, the transaction represented a major step toward the de-dollarization of commerce in Asia, where the US dollar has long been the primary reserve and settlement currency. The US dollar was used in 88% of foreign exchange transactions worldwide in 2020 and accounted for 58% of global foreign reserves, according to the BIS. For many nations, the US dollar does, however, also provide difficulties and limitations due to its volatility, sensitivity to US monetary policy and sanctions, high transaction costs, and inefficiencies. The use of CBDCs in the transaction between China and the UAE provided a more effective and alternative method of conducting cross-border trade than relying on the US dollar or the established correspondent banking system. As Asian nations work to diversify their reserve and settlement currencies and lessen their reliance on the US dollar, the transaction also represented their growing confidence and influence in the global financial system. Along with improving commerce and collaboration across Asian nations and regions, the transaction made new chances and possibilities possible, like the ASEAN Economic Community, the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, and the Belt and Road Initiative. The transaction illustrated the possibilities and advantages of utilizing blockchain technology and CBDCs for cross-border trade and payments, which further aided in the growth and innovation of the fintech industry and the digital economy in Asia. China and the UAE want to lessen their reliance on the US dollar and diversify their commercial and financial ties by utilizing CBDCs. The deal also demonstrates the strengthening commercial relations between China and the Middle East, which now span digital technology, logistics, tourism and culture, in addition to energy and infrastructure. What does this transaction then signify for the future of global finance and CBDCs? It clearly demonstrates that CBDCs are a workable and realistic alternative for cross-border payments, rather than merely a theoretical notion. It also demonstrates how CBDCs can open up new avenues for commerce and innovation while promoting increased international collaboration and integration. It also brings up some difficulties and queries, like how compatible and interoperable are various CBDCs, what the legal and regulatory frameworks are for CBDCs, and how CBDCs will affect the current financial system and the US dollar's place in it. These are some of the topics that we will explore in our upcoming episodes, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you for watching and see you next time.